Ghana lost more than a third of its cocoa output in the last season to smuggling, a top official from its cocoa marketing board has said. The context for that is high global prices for cocoa amid shortages, but also payment delays and low local prices for farmers. And that's pushed some to sell to increasingly sophisticated trafficking rings. Charles Amanyaglo, who leads CocoBod's anti-smuggling task force, said he conservatively estimated that smuggling losses had tripled to 160,000 metric tons in the 2023 to 2024 season. Significant quantities, he said, were crossing into Burkina Faso, Mali and Togo. He described cocoa discovered in tipper trucks covered by quarry chippings, in drums disguised as palm oil, and even in a fuel tanker. Ghana and Ivory Coast, the world's two biggest cocoa producers, have seen poor harvests this year due to disease and adverse weather. The lack of supply has driven up global cocoa and chocolate prices. But an increase last season in the farm gate price, that's what's paid to farmers, did not keep pace. Smuggling rings, however, offer farmers higher prices. In addition, cocoa fetches more in Ivory Coast and Togo than in Ghana. That's because they use the more stable CFA franc and have less regulation. Amanyaglo said the military would soon be deployed to tackle smugglers. In the last season, CocoBod failed to pay farmers for beans on time due to problems with a syndicated loan it uses to finance purchases. It has now opened its 2024 to 2025 season, earlier than usual, with a new funding model and a 45% increase in the farm gate price. It's hoped that the changes will help discourage smuggling, though farmers fear a weakening currency will erode the price hike.